Yeah, you're moving your leg. That's what we like to see. Uh huh. Little Tyler McCaw is enjoying life in Oklahoma with his siblings and parents. It's a penguin. Yeah, a penguin. That's right. But this baby has already been through a lot and pulled through like a champ. It started when his parents, Kimmy and Justin, got devastating news during pregnancy. We're looking at Buena Vibra. You know, and I just started bawling. Worst case scenario, they can't walk. They have trouble going to the bathroom and all of that. And I was just like, what do I do? Spina bifida occurs when the fetus's spine doesn't completely develop during the first month of pregnancy. It can cause problems including brain damage and paralysis. What's worse was that local hospitals weren't able to help the macaws because their case was too severe. But the couple wasn't ready to give up. And after reading an article about a doctor who performs in utero fetal surgery, they called him at the Cleveland Clinic. And I was like, uh-huh, right. Justin McCaw says he couldn't believe when Dr. Daryl Cass agreed to help. In my mind, I'm thinking, you're either going to give me your condolences or you've got a purpose for calling me. He said, I'm going to make a couple phone calls to other specialists around the country. The medical team believed they could close up the defect in Tyler's back with a tissue-based repair to prevent further damage. The surgery was performed on July 24th, and the doctors determined it was a success. They stitched Kimmy back up and monitored the baby's progress. Less than two months later, Tyler was born by C-section, and the doctor's good work was confirmed. They say the brain damage that was present before the procedure had reversed itself. Fortunately, Tyler has done amazingly well. I believe that he has had the very best treatment that will allow him to be the best that he can be in terms of having the least amount of disability associated with his spina bifida. Oh, but no one was more relieved than these happy parents, who say their son is progressing incredibly well. I just hope that he has the best life possible, you know, um, from walking to talking to all of that, you know, and I'm seeing that every day, you know, he's just, he, he's perfect. Tyler still gets monitored by doctors closer to home to see what kind of support he will need as he grows older. But his parents say they see a bright future for their boy. There's no word to express how grateful I am to everybody that was involved. Hi, Abby. Oh, I really am. Yeah. For InsideEdition.com, I'm Mara Montalbano.